Joaquin, great to see you. Uh, very powerful film. What, what do you think it can uh, teach us uh, today in a sort of the way we get our news and our social media age? Do you think this film can actually say something about how we can get um, improve our values, maybe? I think that, you know, oftentimes we think about, like, spiritual development as, as something that we, like, work towards and we achieve at some point, right? People feel if they meditate for a certain amount of time, they are going to achieve enlightenment. And I think part of what this is saying is that we have access to enlightenment in every moment of our day. And how we consider the feelings of others, how we treat other people um, in every moment, as opposed to this idea of uh, rigidly sticking to these sets of, of rules. I think it's really just about um, an internal practice. And playing Jesus is a big challenge. Is the preparation harder playing a role like this to any others? I guess I always feel, every time I make a movie, I feel like this is the most difficult and challenging uh, for whatever reason. Um, certainly there are a lot of expectations. Um, everybody has their own interpretation and understanding of this character. But at some point, I think similar to other films that I've made, at some point you have to own the character and you, you can't um, perform what you think will please other people. It has to be a personal experience. And I think I really realized at some point that the man Jesus, not the idea that we have of Jesus the Christ, this icon, but the man was something that I had to find. And I realized that the sacrifice of the crucifixion is so meaningful because of his human feelings. Um, and that was important for me to kind of lock on. You love my son, don't you? You must prepare yourself like me. For what? To lose him. What's it like to shoot? Is it as grim as it looks? Is it hours and hours spent up there? Well, obviously, it's not as grim comparatively. Um, it had its challenges, but nothing much to speak of. Um, you make movies that are generally more interesting than, than nearly anything else out there. Um, do, do you care about making, like, if a blockbuster came your way, do you like those films? Do you do, you do what you like to watch <clears throat> as opposed to...? Oh, I'm not opposed to, like, um, any genre, whether it's a studio or independent. It's always about the filmmaker. Um, so there are great filmmakers that um, make big budget films, and there are great filmmakers that, that make independent movies. And so um, I, I, I would work, it's really always the filmmaker. Who wants to look, you know, simple when you can look stunning? I'm really sorry, we're very drunk, but we don't give a <laughs> Hey, girl! No, she, she ain't hear me. She ain't hear me. <laughs> <laughs> <laughs>